Okay, I'm going to tie up a little um, basis emerger this afternoon. Um, I've got a size 16 um, grub hook curved hook on the uh, device here. I've put four glass beads on. These are the uh, Mill Hill, very small glass beads. Um, these are just uh, uh, a sort of a pearly colour. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to just knock on some silk, some nano silk, at the bottom of the uh, uh, where aren't the the beads to actually uh, the bottom of the uh, the body to actually set. Tiny bit of this is fly right um, poly yarn dubbing. I'm going to try that in just very loosely. What I want to do is I want to get a halo of dubbing around the glass beads. Just away. Good. So that's just a yen. Tied up there and get all the beads back down together. Put my silk back on again. And I want just a loose halo. So the idea of this is that the, the silver beads inside here represent the air bubble that we get in the uh, under the skin of the uh, of the emerging nymph. That's good. I'm going to do this as a, uh, a parachute. So I'm now going to take some aldron. Good. It's going to use a um, a grizzle. Hackle. area with a small amount of uh, olive fleshy hair dubbing. side of the uh, wind post and then just trying to get to each turn under the previous one. It's quite a long hackle is this one so I'm not bothering using hackle flies here. Quite a weighty body to this, I want quite a few turns more than we normally would do for a parachute just to try and support it. Three turns around the post itself. Let's lock that down. Come back to the eye. Fold everything back. And pull the hopefully hack the stuff off, rid of any loose fibers, and then just shred this poly arm so it's got a little 
back into the, the shuck going a little bit further down and then trim the post and about that height. Okay, so that gives a very suggestive pattern there of uh, the air inside the nymphal uh, skin as the uh, uh, as the nymph actually emerges. Hope you like that.